What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and iOS 11.2 Beta 2 was released today, and there was so much in this update that I want to show you guys that I haven't seen anywhere else. Well, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about battery life, performance, glitches, bugs, and things along those lines. So the first thing I want to mention to you guys is the battery life. So right now in the beginning of the video, it's at 75%. Now in the last beta update, battery life was absolute trash. I had to carry my Mophie case with me at all times, and even then the battery life was trash. I had to charge my phone at least three times a day. That's just disgusting on Apple's part. I don't, I don't know what their deal is, but battery life is trash, but that's expected with a beta update. But other than that, performance has been great. Everything is really fluid amongst the UI. Animations are great. And basically, all those changes with the fluidity and the speed and stuff were brought in the last update. So it's pretty much stayed the same from the last update, which is good. So as far as performance goes, it stayed the same, which is pretty much awesome because that was what happened in the last update. So a new change in this update was if you go to the settings panel and go ahead and change your wallpaper in the last beta update in beta one there was like this weird glitch where you'd only see half the page well that's actually been fixed you can go ahead and choose a new wallpaper and if you have an iphone x you actually get new live wallpapers to be exact but don't worry because if you do not have an iphone x i actually have a video on how to get those new live wallpapers as you can see on my iphone 6s right here it actually works so i'll have that video link down below now there is one problem and i've mentioned this in my other ios beta update videos so apple basically destroyed the widget panel because there are so many dock glitches that have been found using the widget panel and a lot of them are even like unintentional and stuff so basically apple just slowed down the widget panel and it's so hard to find a dock glitch so you can see performance is now trash it's barely even usable on the widget panel but everywhere else on the iphone performance is great it's just the widget panel i don't know what it is but performance is really bad. So you can see I have my other iOS 11 device right here and it's just fine. The widget panel works. It swipes back and forth with no problem whatsoever, no animation stutters, things like that. But the sad news is I tried my dock glitch from the last update and it never worked. This is so random, but look at this. I don't know how I came across this. This literally happened as I was recording. I don't, I've never had a dock glitch occur when I was recording and I don't even know how to reproduce this glitch. I'm actually gonna have to watch the video again and see what I did. That was unintentional. Okay, I honestly have no idea how I did that. But sadly, this dock glitch I literally just found as I was recording this video. It's completely useless, nothing opens. I'm just shocked. This, that's so weird. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't work. That kind of stinks. That's just kind of what I was expecting, just because it was that easy to find, you know, seemed too good to be true, so I guess that kind of stinks. So I'm going to continue to try the old dock glitch I found in my last video, and I'll try this one as well. Also, a new change has been added to the screen recording. If you tap on the screen recorder button, it would count down, and you couldn't stop it until the screen recording actually started, but now you can stop it immediately, and you don't have to wait for that little counter. Also, when you do a recording and finish, you get a notification, which is not unusual, but when you get the notification, if you tap on it, it now brings you directly to the video file, whereas before it only brought you to the photos, so this is pretty cool. So you can see I tapped on it, and it brings me exactly to where the video is located, and I can just tap on play, and it's very convenient. So there is a new change sort of within music, or if you're listening to anything in the background. So if you go to your music app, go ahead and play any song. This could even be in another app like Spotify, but you'll see on the lock screen, it now shows a smaller little dial. And I'll compare this to the one in beta 1, so you can see that it's slightly larger in beta 1, but this is beta 2 right now, and you can see the size from the last one, and in this one, the size is smaller. So hopefully this has no effect on the way I actually use my phone. I don't want that little scrubber to be inaccurate because of its size. And let's talk about battery life. So, at the moment, the phone's dropped to 62%. Ugh, why? I hate the terrible battery life. This is just something I absolutely hate. I hate, you know, in the morning I charge my phone, it's at 100%, and I don't even use it all day, and then when I come back from school, it's at like 65%. That's usually how it goes running in iOS beta. Well, while making this four minute video, you can see the battery is so low, it's at like 60%. I don't know exactly, I'm sort of looking off my screen right now, I can't really see it that well, but I'll zoom up so you can actually see it. It's at like 60 something percent, and it was at 75 in the beginning of this video, so it's dropped at least 5% within this video. That's just ridiculous. Now, it has been worse, so I guess you could say the battery life has improved, but it's still trash. 
So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.